I am not surprised at all because that's who he he has become. He wasn't that when he was in, in his in his younger years, and that's totally fine. He was what 20, 20. I mean, he's you know, and and you're you're not a race car driver thinking that you're you're out there thinking that you're going to win races. And he just mm-hmm. thought that he was great, and he you know he he was young. He was a little bit brash about it. But if you listen to Lewis and the way he talks, the way he expresses himself, the way the, the, what he stands for in the past several years. You can't hate the person, right? I mean, you can, let's how do you hate that? Like, I, I don't understand how there's so much hate on this guy. Again, it's it's comparable because he keeps on winning, right? He's he, mm-hmm. he, that's that's I think that's why there's there's a little bit of um, there, people got sour of watching Lewis win, mm-hmm. but you can't like I I can't fault him for some of the. Uh, for what he, how he got to where he is. I mean, because mm-hmm. he deserves to be there. He's in my. I'm, I'm still a Shumi guy. I guess it is a generation type thing. Mm-hmm. But you know, in, in my head, Shumi is Jordan, Lewis is LeBron, and mm-hmm. whether mm-hmm. depends how old you are, you're gonna have a favorite between the two drivers and the two players. And even the, they're even parallel in that sense, because the, the all the social awareness that LeBron does, Lewis kind of does as well. Same, yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it's like it's I am not surprised at all that Lewis went up to Max, congratulated him, even though it probably killed him inside. Mm-hmm. It's fine. Mm-hmm. But I mean, he just showed great sportsmanship. I guarantee you, if that was the other way around, there is no way Max would have done that. <laughs> I, was about, I was just about to add to that. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah, go yeah. ahead. Me off about Max. He just, you know, he I think it was the race before where he didn't celebrate in the, on the podium. Yeah. So, that's that's the last race. Race. Yeah. Well, you say you see like that, so maybe it just comes with age. Yeah, I mean, some part of it is that, right? It comes, it comes with age, and I, I also think that there's certain people like, like I don't know if Kimmy would have done that because Kimmy really reminds, like Max really reminds me of a young Kimmy. I think mm-hmm. everybody has said that because, but there really is something similar between the two, the, the two, the two drivers, the two people, and it's it's funny because I could see. I, 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 I think I can see Kimmy in his younger years just walking off and not and not wanting to celebrate uh, if he if that happened to him. But you also saw it in the last in the last race, right? The week before, Max didn't need to give up a spade that that la- the position to to Lewis, but he did because he had the penalty already. Mm-hmm. But he did, so he was rattled. He was rattled in that last race uh, before before uh, uh, Abu Dhabi. Yeah, Saudi, Saudi Arabia. Saudi. So I mean, it's yeah. you know, and you can hear Christian Horner saying, "Well, you didn't, we didn't need to do that, but I guess it doesn't really matter." Like it, it's like he he lost it for a split second there, more than a split second. So it, it really shows <laughs> that he's still he's still um, maturing, mm-hmm. but that's what that's where Lewis is, right? He is at his, in my opinion, his apex of his yeah. of his um, the, the the level of his headspace and his his ability. He's there. Mm-hmm. So unfortunately, there was some like Red Bull really just did put it this way. Red Bull spent put a lot of their resources into this season because mm-hmm. next year they knew that there's going to be a cap, mm-hmm. right? For for how much uh, teams can spend, they yeah. should have done this a long time ago. To be honest with you, so they they really gambled and said, you know what, we if we if there's going to be a cap, and it might. You know, kind of even the playing field a little bit. We may as well go all out now, and they did. And then they, you know, they're reaping the benefits with the with the championship for for Max. Mm-hmm. How how about you, uh, Aaron? I mean, you're a huge Lewis fan, and there are a lot of hate that he receives, like what Gina said, and he doesn't know sometimes why people really do hate him. It's maybe because of his dominance in the past decade, and with the gesture people were posting, like some of my friends who really hate Lewis, they were kind of surprised, and they were saying that. That's an uh, unexpected gesture that he did, and uh, they respect him more now. So, as a Lewis fan, how would you tell like the audience or the viewers from this podcast, and why they should really, you know, continue uh, not hating on Lewis? I mean, they don't need to love him like how we love him. I mean, both of us. But then, what what should make him like be a really a driver that people should respect? I think just what he did, um, congratulating Max, he gained a lot of fans. Just like you mm-hmm. said, the guys that didn't like him, you know, recognized that and saw yeah. that. I think he um, he turned a lot of people to his way, to his side. Um, mm-hmm. To just, you know, see that he's actually a good dude. Um, mm-hmm. I think it's not only the dominance that probably makes people hate him. You know, it's, a you know, just being 
uh, talking about race, it's it's a purely white sport. Yeah. It's, mm-hmm. it's never really, you've never seen a black person drive an F1 car before Lewis. So, <laughs> you know, of course, he is in the minority. Um, and, you know, there's going to be some type of hate there, whether it's about race or not. He is the, in the minority. And most people who have seen past winners, you know, Schumacher, all of them will say, why? Why him? Mm-hmm. Or things like that. And I think, you know, for that exact reason, that's why people should should love him. Because, yep. mm-hmm. you know, this guy is representing, you know, the, the you know, for me, all these black kids that are coming up that love F1, they're going to look to him and say, okay, when I get to that age, when I, when I get older, I could do what he did. Yeah. Because, mm-hmm. you know, nobody paved the way for him, but he's paving the way for everybody else coming up. Um, so I think just for that reason alone, um, you know, people should love him. And you can see he's just, he's just a good dude. He's a, he, he respects the sport. He respects his, his drivers, um, mm-hmm. which is, which is a big, uh, factor of why i do really like lewis and i don't like max i hope he changes at some point but yeah mm-hmm. turn off when you see you know it's just like basketball when you lose when detroit lost to to um the bulls you know if they walked off the right way and they shook hands people would never you know look at yeah. isaiah thomas in that way yeah. he probably would have been on the usa team and things yeah, like yeah. that yeah. but no they did it the wrong way and mm-hmm. and now they'll forever be known uh, for that. So I just hope Max changes. I hope he doesn't, you know, have that moment where he'll be remembered for to be that type of driver instead of uh, a great champion. Mm-hmm. 